Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and uh, this is interesting because uh, we, um, you know, had a lot of changes over time, a lot of rumors and news of things that were to come or not, and we're talking about the Microsoft Store. I haven't done a video on this for the store in a long time. Um, I use it a little more because since I do a lot of gaming on this machine and I have the Xbox Game Pass, I of course download games from the Xbox from the uh, Xbox app, and they are of, co of course coming also through the Microsoft Store. Uh, Microsoft did a lot of changes over time. You were you know getting um, apps, you were getting hardware, you were getting all sorts of things over time. They've changed that. You could get music at one point and movies and stuff and then the movie and TV app. You know, it's they've did a lot of changes and they're trying to find a place for the Microsoft Store. So what we learn is that Microsoft, um, you know, at one point Microsoft almost wanted to abandon the store, kind of thinking, well, you know what, maybe this isn't where we're going. And it kept going on. And, um, you know, not a lot of people use it. Some do, some don't. Depends what you do. And finally, uh, we learned that with the uh, Sun Valley changes coming up in 21H2, it would seem that we will have a brand new look and feel for the Microsoft Store. And one of the things that you got to understand is a lot of native apps come from, will be coming from the store now. You know, we talk about Paint, which is a Windows app that part of Windows. Well, Paint is still that old, you know, in, in, in the versions we use, it's still that old uh, little Paint app that, um, you know, for that that is part of of Windows and what's going to change it's one of the apps that is going to now come from the Microsoft Store. Notepad is another one. Notepad which is part of the system will also be updated through the Microsoft Store. They're kind of giving the Microsoft Store a second life if you want. Is that going to change? Is that going to make things better? I don't know. Maybe Microsoft itself finds that it's an easy way to update apps in the background rather than having installers and stuff like that. Uh, we'll see what actually is going to happen with that. We're going to see the new design eventually, and uh, it's going to be fun to see what happens. But apparently, a redesigned Microsoft Store, and not just that, even for developers, there will be rule changes. A lot of things are going to change to try to appeal to developers to make apps for the Microsoft Store. So uh, maybe it's, uh, we could call it Microsoft Store 2.0. And it's interesting that, uh, you know, they change their minds quite often. They went from they wanted us to use the store to, well, maybe the store could go away to, no, the store is staying, and now we're going to try something new. Um, we'll see what happens in the future, but changes are coming. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.